rate of base and then analysis are taki. The three film and less indicator are each rated at a 12 volt and 36 watt. If they are connected in series, what supply voltage should be used, what circuit current will be flow, and the what power will the circuit dissipate. So this is three lamps. So all are identical. 12 volt, 36 watt. They are connected in series, connected with supply voltage VD. So total supply voltage can be calculated all the voltage of the all lamps. So 12 plus 12 plus 12 equals 36 volt. Each lamp current. So in this case, uh, this is the power, this is voltage, power divided by voltage. So P by V, you call the current of 5.3 and VR. So this 5.3 and VR flows with all lengths. So the total power today is going to be PD multiplied ID. So total voltage is a 36 volt, total current is a 0.03, so you got a 1 by 0.38 watt. So this is the way you can calculate the total power. And similarly, you can also add the total power. So total power is going to be additional to all power. So total power PD equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3, so 0.36 plus 0.36 plus 0.36, you call the 1 by 0 A1. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. And in the meantime, our two lengths are now connected in parallel. The same three are 12 volt, 0.36 seven lengths are connected in the parallel. Find the supply voltage, circuit current, and total power decimated. So this is 12 volt, 0.36 seven, 12 volt, 0.36 seven, 12 volt, 0.36 seven. Those three are connected in parallel. So I1 can be calculated P by B. So 0.36 by 12, 0.03 MPR. I2 is a P by B, so the 0.36 by 12, so 0.03 MPR. I3 is a P by B. 0.36 by 12, 0.03 MPR. So 0.36 by 12, so 0.03 MPR. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. So this is the way we can calculate the total power and total current. Multiply by 0 0.9, 1 by 0 0.81. So this is the way that we can calculate the CV and parallel combination of the lens. And now we see there's a potential to buy down. So to the body here, the sister R1, R2, CV. So V1 across the R1, V2 across the R2. So V1 can be calculated VD multiply R1 by R1 plus R2. V2 can be calculated VD multiply R2 by R1 plus R2. So this is the way that we can calculate the V1 and V2. Okay, this problem. The circuit is a fair with the 9 volts of supply, but the 4 volt voltage share to ground is required. So this is for the supply in 9 volt. So this is as a transistor. You only need the 4 volt to supply the transistor. So therefore, the way to use the voltage divider, R1 and R2 series. So the, the 4 volt voltage to the ground is required and the base on the particular transistor. So calculate the value of the second resistor. So this resistor R1 value need to be calculated. And forming the necessary the voltage divider. So then, in this case, the total supply voltage is 9 volt. So this is a, this transistor, the base voltage is only the 4 volt. So then, 9 out of the 4, 4 out of the 9 volt is supplied to the base. So then, this is for the VR2. VR2 can be calculated the V2 there, the multiply with R2 divided by R1 plus R2. VR2 equal to VD multiply R2 by R1 plus R2. So the VR2 is 4 volt, VD is 9. R2 is 12, R1 I know, R2 is a 12. So the by this way that you change that position, R1 plus 12 is square to the 9 plus multiplying 12 divided by 4. So you have 27. R1 plus 12 is 27, so R1 is equal to the 27 minus 12, so that's 15 kilo.